Welcome everyone to this week's version of the Kitsap Weekly Market Stats for November 15th to the 22nd. We're going to go through our stats like we do every single week and then I kind of want to brush really quickly over with what's going on with interest rates right now. Okay, We've had a little bit of fluctuation this past couple weeks and where does that mean it stands for a couple different potential buyers right now. Okay, Where, where are we looking at right now? Okay, so. Let's go ahead and dive in. Again, this is for last week, November 15th to the 22nd. And we saw some big changes this week. The first is being new listings. All of last week, we had 43 new homes hit the market all throughout Kitsap County. That is a down from 66 the previous week and 60 the prior two weeks ago, okay? So we've had about a 35% dip, 43 homes an entire week throughout this entire large county. Very, very low numbers. We are moving into Thanksgiving. We are moving into, you know, closer to the holidays and people are really busy right now. So there is a seasonal aspect to this, but also just what's going on in our economy right now. A lot of uncertainty, a lot of maybe some fear going on. So that is a very low number, okay? And we're gonna start seeing everything is kind of reflective off this number right here. And will, I believe, as we continue forward, because this is a, you know, less homes hit in the market has an effect on everything, okay? So here we go. We always go over how many homes have reduced their prices. Last week we had 62 homes lower their prices. These are homes that are already on the market, they've been sitting there for however long, and the sellers decided, okay, we gotta lower the price, okay? We are in a correction phase right now, okay? This number was in the single digits, one, two a week, you know, eight, nine months ago, but now we are, correcting because of the interest rate hikes and everything else that's going on in the economy, homes are starting to correct. Okay, we hit the very top and now we're starting to come down. 62 homes, about 20% of the market every single week is lowering their prices. So buyers, you might have a real opportunity here to find that sweet spot, okay? Let's talk about actual activity last week. And these numbers are jumping out too. 105 homes went pending, meaning 105 homes for our entire market accepted offers, taken off the market, okay? 105 pending, they're now in the, you know, they're getting their inspections done, appraisals, the whole process to close a house, where we had 73 homes actually close. Okay, transactions complete, buyers get their house, sellers get their money, life goes on, okay? So, what do we notice? These numbers are pretty dang high relative to the amount of homes we have. Fewer homes coming on the market, more leaving, okay? So what do you think that's gonna to do to our inventory numbers? Well, logic would say they go down and they have. We have 522 homes throughout Kitsap County right now. Now this is, um, I believe this number is gonna get hit even harder as we go into the winter months and fewer, fewer homes because we have more homes. We still have high activity levels the fewer homes coming in. In fact, this is about 5% lower than last week. Last week we had 548, okay? So what do we know about as inventory numbers go down, our supply goes down, basic economics say prices will go up. Less supply, higher demand, more demand, prices will go up. We'll, but then we also have this interest rate thing really combating with us. So we'll, we'll continue to monitor this to see if prices go up or down, but let's just kind of look at what we had last week, okay? Uh, days on market, all right, how many, how, how, what's the average amount a home will sit on the market before it gets an offer accepted? 25. So it's floating around that one month range now for a couple months now. All right, so 25 days, sellers, while you might strategically price your home low, below market value to try to get an offer quick because of your situation, for the most part, if you price right around or maybe a little above market, it's gonna take about a month to sell. So have that expectation in your head. Okay, so let's go right back to median sold price. Well, how much did the median home sell for last week? 550,000, so prices are still high. Well, that might make sense a little bit here, remember? Fewer homes coming on the market, less inventory, we're still having a lot of activity, so maybe some of these homes are starting to get multiple offers again, a little bit of a bidding war, so that's causing our median sold price to go up. In fact, it, it went up quite a bit from just last week. Now remember, this is a kind of volatile number because there's so 
there's, you know, you could have one sale that really kind of fluctuates that number a little bit. But this will be an interesting number to kind of keep, keep, uh, keep in line here. So, and last one here, average sold price compared to original list price. So how much, on average, are homes getting paid or bought for compared to what they were listed for, right? Just because a home is listed at 500000 that does not mean the buyer has to pay that amount, okay? They get maybe offer lower than that initially, or they can get an inspection done and then offer less after the inspection. Okay, there's ways to kind of fluctuate the number, but on average, a home, the homes that sold last week, sold for about 1.8% lower than what they were listed for, okay? And this has been pretty consistent now for a couple months, okay? We would never ever in this business ever, ever dream of seeing the number below 100% just eight, nine months ago in the, for the previous years, okay? It was always up at 108, 109, 110, 10% over list price. But now we're going down. It all makes sense, all right? These are all just chapters in the story here that kind of tell what's going on in the market. And I got to give a little credit to um, Jack, who's on our team. He kind of dove deeper into the stats, and he found out that out of the 73 homes that sold in Kitsap County, 50 of them were in Bremerton and Port Orchard. Okay, so 68% of the homes that sold last week were between Bremerton and Port Orchard. 33 of the 43 homes last week that were put on the market, so 80 or 77% of all the homes were in Bremerton and Port Orchard. Well, what could explain this? And so one would be, well, if you look at the numbers, Bremerton and Port Orchard have the more affordable homes. Okay, our average median home value in those pockets are lower than, let's say, up in the North Kitsap area or in, um, in Central Kitsap, okay, where our homes are a little bit more expensive. Homes are older, typically, in Bremerton and Port Orchard. We have a lot of really old communities there, which sometimes can bring prices down. But I think it's also just right now, with people that are buying are shop, they're, 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 they're kind of bargain shop right now, okay? Maybe they would wanted to live up in the Paulsville area, but right now we kind of, we have to live, we, we can afford the Bremerton area. So that was fascinating, that a huge chunk of our movement right now is in Bremerton and Port Orchard. So, sellers, if, if you're in those areas, you're kind of in a hot, hot market right now. You kind of have a lot of, a lot of activity, you have a lot of interest right now because the prices, okay? So that's a good thing for you. You're going to get your value for your home, but also they're probably relatively quicker than the other homes in the county. Um, and it's just, it's just the wheels are in motion. Where if you're a seller in North Kitsap, Central Kitsap right now, or you know, even Bainbridge Island especially, you have to be very, very, very careful how you price. If you are Obviously, everyone wants to get the most out of their house when they sell it, but you really, really got to be careful because you have so few people out there fishing right now trying to get homes in those areas because they just maybe can't afford it. The pond is so small of buyers in those pockets of the county that your home will could sit for months because you're just kind of outpriced, outpriced our community right now. It's really, really fascinating. So we're going to keep an eye on that as we go through. Uh, through the through the winter to see if those numbers start to kind of fluctuate and even out or if Bremerton and Port Orchard continue to be the hot spots because they are absolutely the hot spots right now. So if you're looking to buy or sell in the Bremerton or Port Orchard area, there's a lot of activity right now. All right, so that is the stats. Really quick before I let you guys go, let's talk about interest rates, all right? I kind of caught up with one of my lender buddies, said, hey, what's going on right there? Because I heard some, some talks in the world right now of interest rates coming down. What, how much have they come down? Is that, is that just talk around the, around the water cooler or is there any truth to this? So interest rates are really, really dependent on what's going on with inflation. Uh, so CPI report that came out a couple weeks ago and uh, Treasury. Okay, 10 year treasury. Well, a couple weeks ago, inflation reports came out and for the first time it really showed that maybe we're hitting the top of the inflation and starting to actually come down a little bit. Well, geez, that's a huge, 
sigh of relief for a lot of people, and a lot of times the market is very, very emotional. Okay, so once you get some good news that inflation rates are possibly coming down, boom, the market re re kind of dropped a little bit as far as rates. Um, and we saw, since two weeks ago, on average, about a 40-point drop, 40 basis points, so about a 3.75% drop in interest rates just from two weeks ago, okay? Because of that CPI, because people are now trajectorying that maybe inflation's gonna, gonna keep, keep going down. We don't know, we're gonna keep checking out the reports, but so let's say if you're a buyer two, three weeks ago that got pre-approved, it might be worth talking to your lender again and get pre-approved pre again because that rate might be almost close to a half percent down. That's big money, that's a lot, of, that's big. And, and with prices continuing to go down too, you might find your real opportunity here right now if you're a buyer that's been shopping. Um, but again, interest rates, it's not the same for everyone. So I wanted to give, I asked him, well, let's talk about two different people. Okay, we have two different buyers right now. Buyer number one, where are they gonna fall in line in, in, in the interest rate world right now? Well, this buyer has really good credit, low debt, High, they've a higher down payment, so perhaps they have a house they need to sell and they have a nice chunk of change or they've just been saving up for a long time. And they are buying a single family home, okay? They're not looking to buy a manufactured home or some you know, investment type property. That person right now could very well come in in the mid sixes. So let's say 6.5%, 6, 6 which isn't that bad, really. Especially if you look historically, but then again, we've had historically high home prices, so really it all kind of evens out. But 6.5%, that's for our, our first person, okay? Well, how about, it's like, wow, well, you know what? I need to work on my credit a little bit. My credit's just okay. I have some debt. I mean, it's not tons, but you know, maybe some student loans, maybe a car payment or something, okay? So that, I have some debt, um, and I have maybe enough for a 3.5% down payment, 5% down payment, okay, just enough to kind of get me going. And I do want to buy a single family home, okay? I'm not looking to, to buy some big investment property or whatnot. Well, where do I fall in line? Those people can expect right now 7.5%. So about a 1% difference between the person that's just got it all going for them and someone that's just kind of working right now, but they need to find a place, okay? So information is power, know what's going on. You know, there's people out there saying, you know, rates are gonna get up to 10% or something by the end of the year. We don't know, but I highly, highly doubt that. But this is what we're working with right now, okay? So if you're ever, if you're looking to buy, or you're curious, you wanna buy, you wanna, you wanna talk to a lender and just see where you fall in line right now, reach out, I can help you. I can kinda of guide you along the way here, okay? It's not scary, okay? It might seem scary, but it's not. All right, so that's enough for this week. That is the stats, a lot of crazy, kind of cool, fun numbers to dive into, what's going on in the world right now, and interest rates. Uh, but again, next week, we'll come back and see. It's a holiday weekend, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how those numbers kind of fluctuate, but anyways, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week.